Welcome to Skill Header with effective modern learning techniques. Every business needs to track expenses and find innovative ways to control them. So, in this video, you will learn the approval or rejection mechanism before expense reimbursement in the business. It can be done through a finance department or the department head itself. We will use the admin account to approve or reject the expense raised by any user or a specific designation. Please visit skillheader.com for blogs and source codes, and subscribe to the channel to get updates for the next exciting videos, like, share, and comment. Let's get started. Please note that we are going to proceed with the ultimate login system that we have created before. If you have not watched those videos, please click on the i button above or the link in the description. The user table contains a unique ID, username, phone, date, gender, age, username, and password while the status will determine whether the login is an admin or the other user. Create a table related to expenses with the fields of ID, user ID for the relationship, category, date, time, detail of expense, amount, and node to decide whether the expense is open, approved, or rejected. Let's create a relationship between both the user and expense table. Now, create an expense management form for the users to add expense. Two other buttons are created here related to log off and exit. We need to create a subform based on the expense table. Let's quickly design it.
Now, create a form for ad expenses. You can convert a text box into a combo box. I am using manual values for drop down but you can integrate it from another table as well. Now create a submit button and design it. Before we proceed further, the expense form should be open after login. Okay, now make the add buttons functional with the form that we have created. Start coding for the submit button. If any of the text boxes is null, a message should appear. Now, we are going to update the expense table based on the unbound text boxes.
One important thing to do here is to update the user table as a source of the main form and link the user ID field with the subform. Let's see if all the code works. Before proceeding, make tabs ordered like this. Expense has been added but the date and time should be automatically entered. To do so, the default value of date and time should be as current. We do not need a new record field in the subform because it will be added directly to the table at the back end. The record has been added perfectly. Let's see how the log off button will work because all open objects must be closed before log off.
Now make the exit button functional. As you can see, the message appeared but there might be some issue in the code. A bug has been rectified and now it should work properly. Great work so far! In the next part, we will create an admin dashboard related to expense management where expense approval or rejection will be possible through an admin account only. Please subscribe to the channel for the next video notification, like, share, and comment. See you in the next video!